Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's live stream, you guys. Welcome to our portrait painting tutorial. I'm going to take you through the whole thing step by step. So let's get started. Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's live stream, you guys. Hi. Hi, everybody. So we're going to get started with our portrait painting tutorial. I'm going to put you guys, go ahead and comment below and tell me how you're feeling today out there. Oh, my God. Happy Friday, you guys. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood here in sunny Baltimore. <laughs> oh my God. So yeah, um, you guys can put your questions down in the chat if you want to. Um, tell me where you're coming in at. If you happen to be pun the replay, go ahead and comment below and tell me how you're feeling and what is your favorite thing about today's portrait painting tutorial? Okay. So let's get started, you guys. We're going to go double screen here. Um, yes. Uh, no. <laughs> I want to I wanna hover down here. I want that to be the main one. <laughs> that, thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, you guys. Okay. So as you know, we're working today in acrylics, but you can use any medium you have available. Um, we're going to have it pop up where if you guys are not good with drawing, like you need help with all of those things, and you're not really knowing how to get things together, you can go ahead and pop over to patreon.com slash creative girl of color. We're going to have the colors. Yeah, that's my Instagram. That's not it. <laughs> oh, my God. Sorry, you guys. Can you take that one out? <laughs> Can you take that one out? Okay. Go ahead and subscribe and hit the like button, you guys. Okay, so, yeah, let's get started. Um, as you know, let's pop the colors up below or, or above. <laughs> let's pop the colors in. I tell you, you guys, it's one of those days where it's like everything. It's like the, the portrait painting guys was like, oh, really? You want to go do a painting? Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. So go ahead and um, pop up the colors. Sorry, you guys. I have somebody helping me today. Um, let me see. Let me see it. Yeah. Um, oh, you know what? I want to welcome. Oh, Lord have mercy. Subscribe and all the things, you guys. Oh, this is great because now I have so many different things. You know what? Um, let me pop the colors up for you guys so you can see it. Welcome to today's portrait painting tutorial, you guys. Um, yeah. All the materials are down in the description box below for this video. So you can look down there. I got it. And here's the colors. Yay. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and get started. I want to start actually with um, her head wrap, okay? So I have a bottle of water. I have some water off here to the side. And I'm going to use a myriad of different brushes, but you can use whatever brushes that you have available. Um, and you can use whatever paint you have available. Even if you want to use markers, but you have the actual 
Um, if, but you have the actual like traceable or the reference photo, then you can definitely paint along with me, you guys. So I'm going to use some detailed brushes because this is a pretty small painting. I'm using a 9 by 12 canvas today. Um, and yeah, I don't really need big, big brushes. Let's get a little bit of music going, which is great. Let's get a little bit of vibes going, if we can. I'm going to put my brushes in the water because I have some brushes over here. Water. I got my acrylics. I've already sprayed my palette. And I have my rag because we're going to need it to kind of wipe things off, yeah? Let me know if you if the audio is good, you guys, and you feeling good and you hear me good and all of that stuff. Um, bah, 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 bah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jazzy and dreamy. Okay, I'm going to wet my brush. And I'm actually going to use my flathead brush because I really, really enjoy that. Now, the good thing about... I'm going to show you guys quickly what my reference photo looks like. This is what the reference photos looks like. And you can get that on Patreon. Um... So the good thing about this sort of photo is that you can actually just paint this in any way you want to, any way you feel is appropriate. We can do like half, half a screen again with both of us on. That's oh. great. Yes, uh, no. <laughs> yes, no. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, but yeah. Okay. So the good thing about, um, this sort of thing is that you can actually paint this in as you see fit. You can really get creative with this. You guys, I want to really see you make this your own and do your thing with this tutorial. So yeah, I'm going to pretty much, I'm going to do a base color first and then we'll go on top. Now for the purposes of this particular tutorial, I am going to, um, sorry, you guys, hold on, let me turn this down, just a smidge, make sure you guys are not hearing it too loud, so for the purpose of, the, of this tutorial, I'm actually going to do it exactly as in the reference photo, that way you guys can know how to really flow through all of the things that you need to do, you know what I mean, so that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing with it. And I have it right here to the side. And I'm actually going to get a little bit of orange. I have a little bit of cadmium orange here. But if you don't have orange, you could actually use um, yellow and magenta together. Or um, you could do, yeah, yellow and magenta will pretty much get it done for you. Or yellow and red will give you. A nice orange color. But you know, I always got to have like a little hint of pink. Hello, everybody. Kayla's in the house. Kayla's in the house. You can actually do full screen again. Okay. Thank you. Yes, Kayla is it. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> What is going on? Guys, what is happening? What is happening? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway, so <laughs> you can see as I'm kind of mixing things together. And hello, everybody. <laughs> That's just coming in. I don't know what's happening. Uh, yeah, so you can use a little bit of yellow and magenta, or you can use a little bit of yellow and red. Any type of yellow and red combination will give you a nice orange because this head wrap has a nice um, orange undertone. 
So that's what I'm kind of mixing up over here. And I'm using just a little bit of water. And of course, you know, I always got to have like a pink undertone. So I'm going to add a lot of magenta to mine. And I'm going to get a little bit of white. A little, a little bit of white. There we go. Boom. I'm like, what is happening? <laughs> no, Jesus. Take the wheel. Take it, take it, take it. Okay, so I always have to have a little pink undertone. So I'm going to mix a lot of white in mine. Because I don't like that full-blown orange um, head wrap. But it's your painting, so you can do what you want. If you like the full-blown orange, go ahead and just mix orange straight up out of the tube. And you'll be good to go. <laughs> Girl, Jesus, take the wheel. That's all I got to say about that, okay? <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm pretty much coloring this in. I'm painting this in. And you can paint it in. You follow the traceable and how I kind of sketch this in is I think I can actually control it from here too. Um let me see. Blah, 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 blah. No, I can't. Okay. Hey everybody. <laughs> um you know what I'm not gonna mess with. Uh oh. What just happened? Uh -oh. Uh oh. See? It's still there. What are you trying to do? You you can switch over to me. You see what happens here? <laughs> oh Lord have mercy. Sorry, you guys. We having technical difficulties today. Are you seeing anything down there? <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, I've seen it. Hmm? It's not there. What do you want me to do? Ain't nothing you can do right now. Can't you put it in, in, in that screen? Yeah. Right, I'm not sure what just happened. Blank screen. Uh, there we go. Sorry, you guys. Good God. Woo. If you happen to be on the replay, <laughs> you're going to have to, what are we at? Fast forward past a certain point. What's, what are we, how many minutes are we in? Yeah, it's okay. You're doing great. Yeah, you're doing great. Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, you guys. Telling you, telling you. You want to put like the orange undertone first. Um, and you can do like different variations of the orange just to give it um, kind of some depth.
People gonna be tuning in like, what in the world is happening? <laughs> it's called life. It's called live streaming. That's what happens. Yeah. Okay. I'm just doing different variations of the orange because um, the folds in the head wrap are pretty close together. I want to give it some differentiation. Differentiation. Okay, you guys. So you see how I have like these different variations of, I mean, you can even add a little purple to that red just to kind of darken it up a little bit, especially when you go towards the back here. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. This is going to be a relaxing painting session. And I almost forgot you you guys. Today's quote, right? Today's quote is by Booker T. Washington. It is, excellence is done in a common way. Ex no, that's not the way it goes. It's, it's excellence is when you do a common thing in an uncommon way, okay? So that's beautiful. I love that quote. I want you guys to comment below and tell me what your favorite quote is. Now you could actually do this, you guys. Um this same head wrap in different colors. I mean, as we know, these things come in different colors, right? We have that blast of light going down the middle of the painting, you guys.
I'm gonna kind of outline it with this uh with that pink that uh purple color because I feel like you need to outline it. Because of the folds. That's just straight up purple with a little bit of magenta. If you don't have a steady hand, you can actually go in and um, use like a, a marker. Like a Posca pen or something like that. I think you can remove that banner now. So I think if you just outline it, that will give you um, what you need as far as the folds go, but you got to have some sort of depth to it, yeah? It's like a beam of light flowing through here. Yeah. I don't think that's it. No, it's probably over there, maybe. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We can, we can work it out. Mm. 
Lord have mercy. What are we at now? Let me see how much depth you get with just these little bit of outlines. And of course, I did it in purple instead of black. But you can do it however, whichever way you want to do it, you guys. Whichever way you want to do it. Go ahead and do it that way. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. Just in case you guys are new around here, my name is Danielle. I'm the artist behind Creative Girl of Color. And welcome. If you like art tutorials and art life and all the things and crazy live streams, <laughs> go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell for all notifications, you guys. And share it with your creative friends. I'm sure they would love to see what we have going on over here okay so i feel great about this now let me give you a little bit of a caveat you guys orange and purples are complementary colors right so because of that we have to be careful i'm sorry about this beam of light that's coming through here you guys um so because of that we have to be careful with um, mixing the two of them. So what you want to do is if you happen to outline this, right, you want to go ahead and you want to wait till it fully dries, and then you can go on top with your orange because if you mix this in together, you're just going to get like a muddy, muddy, muddy color, yes? So, yeah, that's my tip of the day. We could uh, take that off. See, even though I have a little bit of orange here, I'm not going to put it all the way to the tip because that's still quite wet. I mean, you can if you want to, like, blend it. A little bit of blending is okay. Okay. 
I think I'll turn. Can you turn your, I think, can you turn the speakers down just a little bit? Or all the way down on the computer? And look at that. It's actually dry. And look how bright that is. That's straight out of the tube, you guys. Straight out of the tube. Um, artist grade paint. Straight out of the tube. It's enough to blind you. So you see the difference between the one that I mixed and that one. All right, so now I want to work on her face. Can you remove the banner real quick, please? Um, I want to work on her face, you guys, while this kind of dries and gets its life together. Now, in the photo, it's pretty kind of grayed out, right? So... Again, I'm going by the photo if you want to have it photorealistic, but you don't necessarily have to do that. Now, if you mix a little bit of orange and yellow, that's actually going to gray it out. You see how it looks black almost? You get that like black kind of grainy, weird kind of, kind of thing. If you're not familiar with color theory, you guys, out um, after this video is over, I will pop it up in the iCard. And you can check out my color theory videos. I have all sorts of videos on the channel that help you with color theory, color mixing, portrait tutorials, and all the things. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit of her earring. I'm going to kind of get in there. You see how dark that is? I really don't even like how dark that is, for real. So I'm actually going to lighten that up. A little bit of white. Again, the purposes of this is to try to get it as close as we can to the original photo. But again, this is your artistic choice. You can make your own artistic choices and choose to paint this however you see fit, yes? FYI, I'm really loving, let me bring you guys down just a smidge. FYI, I'm really loving like um, these flathead brushes nowadays. They really been bringing me life. Now I made the sketch really light, so you probably can't even fully see it, you guys. But I wanted to make it light because I know sometimes people are like, why? Why is the line so dark? You know, so I wanted to make it as light, but still, you know what I mean? But it looks like you guys can pretty much see the light outline and stuff that I made the sketch. All right, her earring is pretty white. But again... Let's 
So I'm just going to get a little bit of a gray. Even add a little bit of purple in it just to kind of spice it up. And you want to go in with a gray first because why? You need to have a base coat. See that? Nothing is truly, truly, truly white, you guys. There's nothing that's truly white. You got to have a base coat. You got to have an under coat in there. Okay, so let's do a little something, 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 something. Now, if you happen to be painting this, like, and you want to, like, rush through it, or you want to really, truly follow along with me, you could actually dry this in between coats and then continue on as we flow through the painting. Any comments? Anybody have any questions? Definitely comment below. And if you happen to be on a replay and you have questions, you can comment below also. Okay, so because I'm loving my flathead brush, I want to do her skin tone. Her skin tone, she's really deep, dark chocolate skin tone, really deep and rich. And I know a lot of people that may not be familiar with African-American skin tones or dark, dark, dark skin tones may be tempted to go ahead and slap just black on the face, black and white, which it is like a black and white. It seems like it has a black and white filter on it, but you can still tell, especially for people that are African-American, that this painting is of a dark skinned woman. Yes. Yes. So you want to be careful with that. Don't go straight in with the bl black, like bliggity black, 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 and the whole thing is black. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't want to do that because that's going to be weird. It's going <laughs> it's going to be real weird and real ugly, okay? And then you try to give it to your family members, they're like, no, you're canceled, okay? So we don't want any of that going on, okay? Especially if you are... Um, you know, giving this to somebody that may be African American, maybe you're not African American. You definitely don't want to make it blackity black, 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 and then it's just gonna look crazy. Okay, um, yeah. So that's my blackity black <laughs> lecture of the day. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I don't know why I'm like getting such a kick. <laughs> But you know, you know how people do it. They be like, oh, this is black. So I'm going to make it black and black, black, black. And then the whole thing is going to be black. No. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. I cracked myself up. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Go ahead and comment below and let me know if you thought this was going to be black and black. <laughs> You can remove that bed. <laughs> I got to crack myself up somehow, you guys, because people are crazy. Okay. okay. So here's what we're going to do for the skin tone. Purple, right? Because it looks like it has a little bit of purple. Purple is a good thing that I always use a lot, if you guys don't know. And it goes in everything from hair to skin tones and all the things. So... Get a little bit of purple. I'm actually going to put it here so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Purple. Magenta. Again, this is just my recipe. You guys can do whatever you want because at the end of the day, it's going to be your painting. And nobody's going to be in there to tell you what you need to be doing. Okay? Um, and speaking of that, you guys. Uh, yeah. And here's where we can add a little bit of black. <laughs> Don't get carried away. A dip of black and you like a smidge. I mean a smidge. But okay, say say you don't have purple. You don't have like the dark purples or whatever in your in your art box, right? Then you can use a little bit of burnt sienna, which is like the reddish orange. Okay, you can see it right here. 
Ooh, there you go. Reddish orange. Okay. And you get you can mix that in with the purple, and that will make it the purple in the um burnt sienna will make it a dark, rich kind of whatever, right? Because you don't want to really make her skin really dark right away. You want to kind of ease it in and not make it like crazy. Because especially when you're dealing with acrylics, because you have to do a lot of layers. Like I always tell you guys, you got to do a lot of layers to make things look great, especially with acrylics. And especially if you want to do a realistic portrait, you have to do a lot of layers, right? The more layers, the better. So if you add 10 layers, that bad boy is going to be on point, okay? All right, so I'm think of it like a recipe, or like makeup. I'm slowly adding a little bit of purple, a little bit of magenta, a smidge of yellow ochre, a smidge, and a smidge of black. What, 10 minutes? Okay. 10 minutes. The countdown has begun. Just when it was getting good, right, you guys? Okay, so anyway, we mixed that good mixture. Now, you can buy this stuff. You can buy, like, these skin, so-called skin tones from Michaels or whatever, and you can get this sort of stuff going, right? And you don't have to bother mixing, but... Why do I still mix? I mix because it's important to know how to do different variations of skin tones. It's important to know how to, to know color theory so that you can mix any color you ever desire, your heart's desire. Versus if you buy the color, you will never know how to mix it. So that's why I always tell you guys, color theory is very, very important to me. Okay, so I'm ready. We ready, she's ready. Today we're gonna do a little bit of different. I'm gonna cover the whole skin in this color, and we're going to get dangerous with it. I'm going to color the whole skin in this color, and then we're going to add highlights on top. Because remember last time I showed you guys a different one, if you didn't see my last tutorial, what are you waiting for? You should, okay? I added a little, you can even add a little bit of orange in there. Boom. The more colors, the more better, yeah. So I'm going to put a little bit of this, and we're going to start with this. And see, you get that chocolate brown, right? That chocolatey goodness. And it still looks dark, right? But it's not super dark. You want to gradually add these layers so you're not out having, having your girl out here looking crazy. Right? Now, her forehead, I'm not going to cover the whole thing. I'm going to kind of, like, add a little bit of a... Uh, here's when you can add a little more of yellow ochre to the forehead. Because the forehead, in case you guys don't know, is always going to be lighter than any place else. So you don't need to add no super dark whatever. Now, if you do this in black and white, because I noticed some people in, in the comments, like my like moderator and my friend Kayla, she should be in the comments. Shout out to my moderators. I love you guys so much. Thank you for helping me. Um, She likes black and white, right, you guys? So because of the fact that she likes black and white, I'm adding a little more purple. You can do this in black and white. If you want to do that, right? I'm going back in with the darker colors, as you can see it right here. But I'm moving quickly. Can you see that I'm moving quickly, you guys? Now, this ear right here, this whole thing is, like, really dark. You can barely see her ear in um, this photo. But again, remember what we said, we don't want it to be super dark in the beginning. We want to kind of ease into that. And I'm moving quickly. You see that? I'm moving real fast. 
and I'm blending down, blending down, but you're still going to have to go in and add an additional yada yada. Okay, I'm going under here underneath her eye, um, eye ports. <laughs> Okay, this is going to be dark right here. This whole thing. Do, 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 do. We're going to block this in, you guys. This is the block in stage. Remember that. And this should go... Uh, this should be a pretty fun, like, laid-back kind of situation. Should have any questions, you guys? You can go to the comments. <clears throat> any questions? Because we're almost at the finish line as far as today's session. And then we'll come back and kind of do some stuff. Uh, you said black lecture? New t-shirts. Hashtag black lecture. Hmm. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means either. That's from House of Harris. Harrison. Oh. <laughs> hey, babe. So one of the mods is in the house. She looks like she's wearing a lot. Oh, okay. Good. Now, I'm moving quickly, you guys, because... And you also want to move in the direction of the body part that you're painting. You feel what I'm saying? If you have... Um, going in with the purple, baby... She has a pretty deep kind of eye socket. So I'm getting in there, trying to avoid her eyes. Eye sockets are always going to be darker than the rest. Wiping off my brush in between, you guys. Bring that dark spot up here, avoiding the eyebrows. Anyway, so like I was saying, you definitely want to paint. You want to paint in the direction of your body part, of the anatomy. Her Like her jawbone is going this way, you should be painting that way. Paint it, paint it, paint it this way. I'm telling you, in the end, it makes a big difference. Paint it. Her neck is going this way. I'm going to paint it that way. You see that? And you see how, even though I added some browns and some purples and stuff like that, we still get the effect of like a darker skin tone. And as you start to layer on top of that, It'll be a way more richer, beautiful skin tone. Smooth out those edges. You guys, smooth them out. And you know what I tell you? This is the ugly stage, so it's always going to look ugly before it looks great. I promise you, if you keep going... It'll look great in the end. 
Doesn't need to look like anything in the beginning. Even that looks great. You could do a, a, a purple, brown, whatever. You can experiment with this. You don't have to be um, beholding to the reference photo, right? I, for one, enjoy realism. That's why I teach real uh, realistic portraits. However, if that's not your jam, you could always take... But you, it's good to learn the fundamentals first, and then you can take your reference photo... Now I'm going to get a little bit darker because we're going towards the neck. And I want the neck to look like it is receding. So that's why you want to go a little bit darker underneath the neck. Trying to get this blocked in. And then I'm going to take some questions. So if you guys have any questions, definitely feel free to pop them in now. Can you move the banner, please, a little bit? Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't, you guys. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe and hit the like button. Okay, we're just flowing through, and then I'm going to take some little bit of questions. Still getting into my, like, purples and browns and all the things. So, anyway, since I, like I told you guys, in order to, to reconstruct and to do your own thing, you have to learn. I think it's important to learn the fundamentals first. Learn how to do, like, the realistic portraits. And then kind of move on and uh, do your thing after that. You know what I'm saying? Because my thing is, how can you um, see I got a darker color underneath the neck. And I'm painting towards the neck. For me, it was very hard for me to do, like, I can't stylize, it's hard to stylize a portrait. Do we have questions? Any questions? Mm -hmm. So it's hard to stylize a portrait if you are um, don't understand the fundamentals. So, like, now I could really just, re I could really just do something from my imagination. And I think one day we'll do something like, like that, right? Yeah, I want you guys to comment and tell me if that's something you're interested in. If you're interested in um, me showing you how to just do something from your imagination or how I would do it. Because if I wanted to, I could do something easily from my imagination with no issues. Because I understand the structure of the face. I understand fundamentals. I understand color theory and all the things. Right, guys? So, yeah. I'm going to take some questions. And we're going to chat about... Whatever you guys want to chat about. I'm washing out my brush and wiping it off here on the side. And of course, I have my little spray bottle when I'm like kind of spraying my palette and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. Be sure to like and share. Yes and yes. Thank you so much. 
Hello, everybody in the chat. Hello. Yes. House of Harrison. Thank you so much. She is my my moderator, you guys. So show her some love and all the things. Yes. So a great way to support the channel, if you want to support the channel, you can head over to patreon.com slash creative girl of color. Um, and you can chat with the moderators. Definitely join our group on Facebook. Our community over there is such a long, beautiful, like community of other artists just like you guys that are learning. There's some some heavy hitters in there also that can really teach you guys some stuff, not just me yapping. Oh my god. As usual, per usual. <laughs> <laughs> per usual. So anyway, yeah. Um, it's not just me chatting and kind of like doing the whole thing. You know what I'm saying, you guys? So you can definitely shout out to my patrons. I want to give a big shout out to you guys. And thank you to the moderators. If you would like to donate to the channel, you can donate directly because everything we do here, Creative Girl of Color, is all free of charge. I wanted to make it accessible to everybody to learn and learn the fundamentals, learn all the things that I didn't have access to here on YouTube. I seen that there was a gap, something that I wanted to fill. And I came on here and I wanted to give away all the resources and all the things but yeah, you guys, it takes a lot of work and money to run our little YouTube channel over here. And I eventually want to upgrade. So if you would like to donate to the channel, that would be much appreciated. You could buy me a coffee.com slash creative girl of color. And if you guys don't have any questions, that's going to be it for today's live stream, you guys. We are at the hour mark. The hour mark. You know how it goes. Every Friday, 12 noon, same time, same place. You know what it is, you guys. Let me know if you have any last minute questions. It's a lot of you guys here in the chat. Hey guys. Um, House of Harrison. Go ahead and block Cookie Man or whoever that is in the chat. Blizzard Block City. Okay. Go ahead and block them out. Hey, Kayla. Thank you so much, guys, for showing love and showing up to the live stream. I appreciate you guys so, so much. I hope you have a happy Friday. We're going to be here same time, same place every Friday, 12 noon, for another portrait tutorial. You can probably, I will upload, I think, the part two, this is part one, I'll upload part one, I mean part two of this next week, you guys, sometime maybe Wednesday or Thursday, but we should be back for another Business Mondays, you guys, Business Mondays with my moderator and friend, Kayla Small, so we should be back Monday for another Business Mondays, if you have any ideas, go ahead and comment below and let me know, and that's it. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll catch you on the next.